Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Miss Madam. Hey guys, and today I'm doing a carnival wrap up. Yes, a carnival wrap up. I'm going to be talking about my opinion, what I thought about Spice Mask 2018. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned to the video. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing. Okay guys, first of all I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers to my channel. My name is Melissa, aka Miss Madam, and this channel is all about vlogs. You're going to get vlogs, you're going to get challenges, you're going to get reviews. Yes guys, so welcome to my channel and also to my old subscribers. Thank you for sticking with your girl, right? So let's get into the video. So guys, today I want to do a carnival wrap up. I didn't do, I didn't do one last year um because for some reason spice mask 2018 was off the chain this year and i just want to give you guys my opinion my opinion of what i thought of it and what i thought that should have happened my opinion please do not kill me for my opinion if you guys disagree on anything that i'm going to be saying here no you guys can comment in the comment bar below and we can chat about it as adults no cussing no fighting is my opinion okay so please don't kill me for my opinion so spice mask 2018 as i said was off the chain i really enjoyed this carnival this year last year was okay but this year was crazy first of all we're going to start off with the queen show the Queen Show was the Thursday. I didn't really look at the Queen Show because for some reason I'm not interested in the Queen Show. But I did saw some live, you know, people went live. And I saw, I saw, I think I saw the evening wear and I saw the costume, but I didn't see the um, interview or nothing like that. When I got up the morning, they said Miss St. George won. A lot of people were saying, oh, she didn't deserve it. They thought Miss St. John should have won. A lot of people said that, um, what they said? They said because of her name, she won. I don't know about that, but a lot of people said that. So, you know, I just want to say congratulations to Miss St. George. I cannot put my opinion on that because I didn't look at it. But, you know, for the people who disagree on Miss St. John winning Miss Queen show kind of a Spice Mask 2018 Queen go ahead and give your opinion in the bottom second of all um, we had power soaker on the Friday fantastic Friday and really and truly I was hyped for soccer monarch because soccer monarch was the highlight of 2018 Spice Mask Everybody was like, oh my god, the groovy is so hot. And the groovy this year was hot. We had Dash, we had Little Vaughn, we had Mandela Lynx. Um, who else we had in the groovy? Um, we had Boise, we had um Likanati and Tonda, you know, going up in the groovy. Last year, Boise wasn't in the groovy, Likanati and Tonda wasn't in the groovy, Little Vaughn was not in the groovy. So we had some big shot um soccer monarch um what you call soccer artist in the groovy this year trying to get the crown away from dash and really and truly when um i didn't see madela ling's performance i was in traffic when he was performing but i heard him and then little vaughn well not little vaughn but vaughn i didn't see all his performance i only saw half because when he came on stage i was in the line trying to get into the stadium and really and truly it was a hassle trying to get into the stadium me and jamie stand in a line for about 20 minutes trying to get in and people was rushing and pushing to the point that nobody was searched getting into the stadium because for me for some reason it wasn't organized the entrance to the stadium was not properly organized and they need to work on that for next year um Yes, like I was saying, when I was in the line, Vaughn was performing, so I didn't see his whole performance. 
when I got in, he was like halfway through the performance. He was great. The song was one of the big songs for 2018. It's still a big song. He's out there now, I think in, um, he's in England, I think now, London, some way performing, right? Um, yeah, so his song was one of the big songs for Groovy. It, people were saying it was between him and Dash. Dash have a lovely song. Dash song and Dash performance was really, really off the chain. His song was Gifted. Since I heard the song Gifted, I knew that song would have won the Groovy because the song itself have a positive message. Gifted. He's saying everybody is gifted in their own way. And, you know, everybody has different talents. Everybody is gifted. You know, it's, it's a very nice song. His performance was very nice. He had people showing their different talent on the stage. He had, um, you know, gifted people in the back, you know, and like a slideshow, like he had Bob Mali and, and um, all these gifted people. I can't even recall everybody he had in the slideshow, but he had, you know, a good performance. Then come the person who blew me away in Groovy, and I honestly thought it would have been between him and Dash was Boise. Sorry to say. Boise performance in the Groovy was excellent. He put down 100% in that Groovy performance. He had, you know, you know, he was, his song was up in it, you know, from the airport to the stage, he up in it. And, you know, everything from the, um, performance and the presentation was on point he from the start to the end people was jumping waving it, everything was just on point he shocked me in the groovy because I wasn't expecting him to do that well because we all know he is the soca mona king for the power soca section not for the groovy so when he came and he did that whole performance in the groovy it was like i was like wow boise did great so after that we had um little natty and thunder they did okay you know there wasn't all that because we all know as i say they are power soca they are for the power soca you know they came they did their thing in groovy but I wasn't expecting them to top, maybe in the top three or anything like that. So that was great. For my opinion, I'm going to put down my opinion now for the Groovy. For the Groovy, Dash, yes, he deserved the crown. He won the crown three times in a row. Um, but honestly, I think it was between Dash and Boise. Little Vaughn did okay. I cannot say much because as, as I said, I was not there for the full performance. But honestly, I saw Boise and I saw Dash. And to me, it was between Boise and Dash. And he, Boise came third. But I think he should have been second in that Groovy. He should have been second. He could have even won the Groovy. If... um. Dash didn't had that hit song gifted. That song was very positive. Just the the whole message behind that song won that groovy. But if he didn't have that gifted song, I think Boise could have take the groovy. That's my opinion. I think Boise, I keep on saying that because I want nobody to kill me for my opinion. But I honestly think that if Dash didn't have that power song that great message in that song I honestly think that Boise could have taken that crown away from Dash and he would have turned the groovy king honestly I honestly believe that I don't think it was between Vaughn and Dash even though um, Vaughn came second congratulations Vaughn but I honestly think it was between Boise and dash in the groovy yeah so that's my opinion moving on to the power soca <sighs> the power soca really and truly my chest still burning me 
from the power soaker. The power soaker was not that excited as the groovy. Trust me, it had a lot of new people in the power soaker. I don't know if it was new to me, it was new because there's a lot of people I saw in the power soaker and I didn't, to me, I can't recall seeing them last year. Um, but it was, there was a lot of people sleeping in the stadium. Trust me, I was sitting next to a lot of people who were sleeping, waiting for their favorite artists to come on because they in between the the hype guys the power guys they had a lot of amateur soccer artists so a lot of people was like jumping one minute and next minute they were sleeping so the groovy was on off the chain from the beginning to the end everybody was hype jumping with it but the power soccer there was a lot of people sleeping in between even when the results was calling out i saw a lot of people were still sleeping i was like really yeah so i think the power soccer i'm gonna get into my opinion my opinion the power soccer was between Boise, we know that the four-time crown winner of the power soca and the Kanati and Thunder who've been trying since how long? Like three years now trying to take over Boise. And then who we had again? Oh we had Muddy. Muddy came really really strong this year with his song. I think his song is called what? Not stupid. I I'm not stupid I read some sh stupid in it <laughs> I know the song but I just don't know the name right and then we had who else again we had in the power soccer it was between Boise Lakanati and Tonda um muddy who came forth I, I can't who came forth well that was the three people in the power soccer i can't even recall who came fourth who came fifth i think um oh it and Lednek did really good too and Lednek did really good and i think this was his first time in the power soccer he did excellent i think next year he can come better and he can top in the top four because i think he came six or somewhere there um i can't recall who came fifth oh Tara the governor and fourth was I can't remember who came fourth I can't remember who came fourth so we had Boise, Lakanati, Muddy, Tara the governor and I can't recall who came fifth or fourth or whatever I think Dash Dash came up there eh? no it wasn't Dash anyways yeah so moving on, my opinion in the power soca. I'm gonna give my opinion in power soca. The power soca was off the chain. My favorite in the power soca was Boise. Okay, <laughs> I know you guys are gonna say oh, she favorite in the was in the groovy was Boise. Now she favorite is Boise in the power. But listen, this year I was a big Boise fan. I will not lie. Last year I was looking at the Antonda. I was cheering on these guys like crazy last year because for my opinion the song they sang last year was a stronger song that they sang that they sing this year and i honestly thought that if they had to win power soccer it should have been with the song that they sang last year top striker i think that song was a song to win the power soccer First, that in my opinion, you understand? Everybody knows that Top Striker is still playing up this living day. They did a remix with Masha Montano, very hard. It's still going, it's still playing. It's still played in 2018 on Spice Mask because it's hot, it's off the chain. My opinion is that Likonati and Tonda, yes, they deserve the crown. Their performance was excellent. In the ending, they seal it off in the ending when they went in that globe in the world they had like a a world a globe whatever you want to call it world globe and they took the grenada flag and they went into that world and they put that flag out and they was like taking grenada soccer to the world just that alone seal off their performance to winning that crown because the way they said it you know i got Goosebumps in the stadium when they performed. Last year when Boise performed, I had goosebumps. 
this year when the Panatian Thunder performed, I got goosebumps. I tell you, my skin, my hair was standing up just by them saying, taking Grenada Soka to the world. That's all we want. We want a soccer to reach the world. And they, these guys are traveling all over the world, all over, and bringing our soccer to the world. And with them saying that in the ending of that performance, that was it. That just sealed it. I think the judges just, they heard that and they was like, yep, look at Natty and Tunnel. That's it for this year. You understand? It was amazing. Boise performance, I will be honest, I was very disappointed in his performance this year in the Power Soccer. His groovy performance was excellent. But his power soccer performance was lacking. He was lacking something. When I saw it, I was like, yeah. But when I stood down, I was like, you know, I could have get he could have given us a little more. Something because boys they have to realize that his performance last year, 2017, was off the chain. So every year he comes, he has to come harder than he went last year. You can't give us something so good last year and this year just give us two little thing and just walk off the stage. People gonna be like, what's going on? That's not the boys we know. And that's not the boys I know because what I saw last year, I got goosebumps and this year I was just like, yay, he did okay. And he went before the Kanati and Tonda. So it was between them two. So when you saw Boise, he was like, yay. But when you saw looking at him and tell me, you were like, oh my God, Boise didn't win. But just that. I think as Boise's song, Boise's song was possessed. He said he's possessed. He possessed to mash up, mash up this, throw powder, wreck place, you know? Just he possessed to keep on doing soccer and, and mashing up fets and stuff. I mean, if you say he's possessed, he came out looking possessed, but the people up on the stand, like myself, I couldn't see that. I saw like his skin was white and stuff, but I couldn't see like all the things on his face. I'm not sure the judges couldn't see that neither. And next of all, I think that he came up from the floor. I understand that. But what I understand is that you say the person that possessed you dead already not you that did so i didn't understand the reason why he came out from the floor i find that he should have a presentation when he should have brought up somebody who possessed him maybe somebody big in the soccer world in grenada like talpri could have go with talpri because talpri is the king of jab jab and possess and jab jab cannot go together and he could have get talpri to come out from the floor and come up through the smoke I you know I'm put on a presentation. Yes, I possess you, and I possess you to um to match up the place, and I'm gonna leave you possessed. You know that's my opinion. I think that he should have done something like what he did last year with Baby Killer when he had Baby Killer came up on the stage and gave him the master plan. This year he should have somebody else coming up, you know, saying yes, I am the one who possessed you, and I want to keep you possessed because I want to keep on mashing up the stadium. I'm doing this and keep on winning crown, doing that, doing that. But he didn't do that. You understand? He came, he sang his song, and he had two little thing on the stage, and that was it. And he went off. It was excellent. He performed great, yes. But he didn't have the winning performance. He didn't have that. He was like 80, and like a Natty and Thunder was 100. And they won. And when they won, it did break my heart, but I was happy for them. I was I was happy. I was happy that they won. You know, they deserved the crown. They had the crowd. Um, what else? They deserve it. They deserve it. Last year, my opinion is that the song that they sang last year was a way stronger song than Section. But I guess this year is their year. They won and they deserve it. Congratulations to Kanati and Thunder. Right now, they is in New York represent no they're in england i think there's in london it's not in hall carnival they're over there and maybe after that they're going to go over to labor day so as they say they're taking grenada soccer to the world continue you know flying the flag high representing grenada congratulations to the Kanati and thunder next year boise just come harder i know next year you're going to come hard 
just come hard and give you a little idea if you want more idea you want to just call up a girl you know i can give you some ideas i can give you some ideas man call me up call me up right <laughs> right so, yeah so then we have juve morning juve morning before you should start like four in the morning no it start like six in the morning not even six like means to seven hot sun blazing and you're just seeing the first jab jab band but it was great i enjoy myself i did enjoy myself um as usual i was out there with Ali and Jamie, we enjoy ourselves. I got wet, but I still went out there, enjoy my Monday night mass. The bands was great. You know what band kind of caught me this year? It was um amazing, amazing colors. I like that band. That band is really nice. And I don't know how they did not place in the top three. But they were really nice. I like their colors. I like all the different sections. What I like about them is that they don't have like one section. They have different sections. So if you don't want to wear a plain t-shirt, you can wear a nice two-piece, you know? I like that. They give people options, you know? Options. You can have choose this or choose that. I like that. And I'm surprised that it didn't top in the top three. But maybe better. They come harder next year. Come harder next year. Yeah, and then going on to Tuesday, Tuesday I didn't went out in the streets because when I got up Tuesday morning, I caught the cold. Somebody told me the name of the cold was Pum Pum. <laughs> Somebody asked me if I catch the Pum Pum cold. I don't know. So, but I caught the kind of a cold. I had it the Tuesday really, really bad. My throat was sore. I couldn't talk. Nothing like that. So Jamie went out there with the camera. So. The, the carnival Tuesday you saw was all Jamie he went out there with the camera and he did his thing thank you Jamie thank you Jamie and some of his family members help him out also his best friend Jinx helped him out also so thank you to all of you guys on Tuesday that went out there and enjoy all yourself and still took some footage for this channel so thank you yeah and that's it that's a wrap up for Spice Mask 2018 so next year make sure you guys book your guys flight since next year start we always January February March put in your bookings to come to Spice Mask 2019 because this year was great and for some reason I think next year going to be better so come down come down on the come 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 to Spice Mask guys get in your section hey okay guys so that was my wrap up video of carnival 2018 as i said i gave my opinions if you guys disagree in anything that i said in this video there a comment bar below write what you disagree on and we can discuss it as adults okay guys so don't forget to subscribe and like it's your girl miss madam and i'll see you guys next time bye